Hey, this is NBA skills coach Chris Brickley. And these are my everyday essentials. So this is a lyric speaker. A uh, giant part of my workouts is just that the vibe, there's always music going on. The first thing I do when a player walks in the gym, I say, well, how you feeling today? What album you wanna listen to? Mellow always gives me Jay-Z and Nas, Jadakiss. Each player is different. So music is a giant part of what I do. A lot of rappers, they wanna be NBA players. A lot of NBA players wanna be rappers. From YG to Quavo to J. Cole to Travis Scott to Chris Brown. I've worked them all out. Meek was here not that long ago watching James Harden work out. After the workout, Meek's like, yo, let's get a little workout in. Wish You Were Here tour. That was an amazing time of my life. Uh, Gunna was on that tour, Trippy Red. Just being on the tour bus every day with Travis Scott, flying private, show would be done. I thought we were supposed to go to Indianapolis. Travis is like, yo, we're getting on the jet, we're going to Miami. I'll remember that for the rest of my life. And the gear is super popping. Not only does the meaning mean a lot to me, this is J. Cole's Dreamville. It says, you know, I studied the greats and I'm the greatest right now. And, you know, I, studied, I have studied the greats. I've worked for Rick Pitino, I've worked for Phil Jackson. That's two Hall of Fame coaches. So I kind of wear this shirt with pride. Uh, shout out J. Cole for uh, putting these lyrics on because it really does mean a lot to me. So a, a lot of this music stuff wouldn't happen if it wasn't for Chris Brown. So I met Chris Brown um, about six, seven years ago when I was working out with J.R. Smith in LA. I was at a party, James Harden was there. Chris Brown came up to me, he's like, you're the trainer, right? He's like, can I get a workout in? He came to New York, we worked out, and for a number of years, I was like my closest friend. He started Black Pyramid, um, this is Black Pyramid shirt, and uh, I was uh, very involved uh, with the process when, when that first started. And um, I'm always a supporter of Black Pyramid, you can see me wearing Black Pyramid all the time. So I'm a super sneaker head. When I first signed a sneaker deal, it was last year at All-Star Break in Charlotte, and Puma gave me these sneakers and they had an artist draw on it, You Can. When I first signed to Puma, we did a little campaign, a You Can campaign. My whole thing with You Can is, I'm a trainer, I'm not an NBA player, I'm not like a rapper, I'm a trainer. Um, I teach people how to play basketball, and I got a sneaker deal, so if I can do it, you can do it. Obviously an essential. I can't do a workout without a basketball. Uh, personally, my favorite basketball is the Wilson Evolution. When I was like 12 years old, um, I told my dad, I want a Wilson Evolution. So that's kind of like my go-to when it comes to basketballs. Wilson Evolution. So something that's with me every single day is my notebook. My notebook is my life. Literally, everything is written in here from my workout schedules, uh, some colorblind designs, ideas. When I wake up in the morning, I write my notebook. For lunch, I write my notebook. Right before a workout, I have all my workouts in here. I probably have like 30 notebooks just sitting in my apartment that I've written through. I always save them to look back, remember workout plans and everything, but my notebook is my life. I'm not really into cars. I'm not into buying houses. When I first like kind of made it in my mind as far as making some money, um, got some jewelry. My main, my main jeweler, as you can see, is Moses, a uh, New York-based jeweler. So, you know, I got some tennis chains um, from Moses. Some of these are 12-pointers, some of these are 15-pointers. Um, so that was like my first piece of jewelry I got. I didn't realize how expensive jewelry was. Um, so I kind of started slow. And then now, you know, this Jesus piece is the newest piece I have. Um, I love it. When I kind of started making money, um, I wanted to repay my father some way. He looked out for me my whole life. He was a mailman, grinded, worked like 70 hours a week just to, so I could buy the new AIs or the new Jordans. And just about a year ago, um, I hit him. I was like, if you were ever to go on vacation out the country, where would you want to go? He said, Paris. I waited a few months. Um, I invited my dad to New York and I made sure um, one of my family members had the passport with him. And we went to the airport, I took him to Paris. It was kind of like a surreal moment, like finally I get to do something cool for my father. And we went to Notre Dame Cathedral and I got this. And since I've gotten this, I've worn it every single day. Uh, I wear it showering, I wear it doing workouts. 
it just means a lot to me. This is on my wrist at all times. So being a trainer, hydration is everything. Um, in between drills, in between workouts, the guys are constantly drinking water. Um, here's a small water. And some days I'll be on the court legit 12 hours. Uh, my first workout will be at 6 in the morning. My last workout will be at 1 in the morning. And I need energy, so I drink Red Bull. One of my pet peeves, people are always like, what's your pet peeves? Like when you're on a date or whatever. Um, my pet peeve is when someone has bad breath. So I always am chewing gum, um, and I think it should be an essential. I grew up, you know, playing video games my whole life. Now, you know, the last four or five years, 2K has been the game. So I'd always play with NBA guys, and now like I'm in the game. Uh, 2K19, I just have my own player. But this year, it's real. Like if I open my Instagram right now, that's probably 15 people tagging me being like, I just trained with Chris Brickley. It's surreal. Now when I go to the airports, people don't come up to me like, hey, are you the trainer? It's like, are you Chris Brickley from 2K? And it happens in every single city I go. So. It's truly a blessing. A giant, giant part of my job is film. I'm probably watching as much film as I am than I am on the court. I watch all the players I work out. I watch their games. I watch every single possession each player I work out's had. I use this laptop. If I ever lost this laptop, I think I would go crazy. Constantly sending edits to players, trying to help them throughout the season. I kind of got popular through Instagram and the videos. My, my, one of my best friends, Kevin Harrington, um, is, my is my videographer, and he uses an Apple iPhone to, um, all the content you see, it's from an iPhone. People all the time are like, what, what video camera are you using? What? No, it's an iPhone. Like I said, I'm huge in the fashion. Whenever I'm not in the court, I always like to wear stuff that's comfortable. Michael Mary jeans are legit the most comfortable jeans there is. If you've ever had a pair, you would understand. They'll fit tight on your leg, but they stretch. You can wear them a hundred times. They don't get all baggy on you. They're legit my favorite jeans. Shout out Michael Mary. Maybe you can give me a discount one day. So this is NBA skills coach Chris Brickley. Those are my essentials. Hype beast way. Get in there. Oh!